Over the years, there have been a lot of one tile challenges in both City Skylines and City Skylines 2. In fact, I've even participated in one myself in City Skylines. But this challenge might not seem possible in City Skylines 2, considering the game starts you with nine tiles rather than one which is roughly equivalent to the original one tile area and its predecessor. So I modified the Corral Riches map to have only one tile. And for good measure, I've removed all the infrastructure that comes with the map so you can't import utilities. Well, everything except for this one lonely highway. And in this video, I'm gonna try to make a well-planned, attractive, one tile city with as large of a population as we can muster. But for a twist, we only have one hour to complete the challenge. But this isn't just a challenge for me, I'm challenging you to beat my population and providing a link to the save in the description below so you can play along with me. So drop your population in the comments below and subscribe if you like this sort of video or leave your favorite emoji for the sake of engagement. But before we get started, I wanna give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor, Raycon. Recently, I went on vacation to Arizona and I had an absolute blast. I got to do a bit of shopping, lots of hiking, and even checked out some national parks. But each night, I found myself awake in our small vacation rental all by myself playing Timberborn. And thankfully, I didn't wake my family up because I was using my Raycons. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. They offer eight hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life. One of my favorite features of the earbuds is that they have different sound profiles for different types of music, which is great because I have eclectic tastes. Recently, I've been listening to Little Moon, highly recommend them, Joe, yes, that's Steve Harrington from Stranger Things, he's a singer and he's great, and TV on the radio because I'm a millennial. I've also been really enjoying Steve Lacey and I've been rediscovering Johnny Cash and the profiles make everything sound good. I also love the noise isolation and awareness modes. Isolation mode completely blocks out the sounds around you, while the awareness mode is handy if you're walking around a busy downtown area and need to know what's going on around you. If all of this sounds good to you, click on the link in the description box below or go to buyraycon.com slash cityplanner to save 20% off your Raycon purchase plus free shipping. A huge shout out to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into it. We'll start in five, four, three, two, and one, go. And the first thing that we're gonna do is spam a whole bunch of small power plants. And the reason we're gonna do this is I wanna to get to level 10. So we have all of our high density unlocked. Now I got this idea from Toadie who did some experiments trying to figure out the best way to speed run City Skylines 2. So she went through every item in the game and figured out that the small coal power plant is one of the best bang for your buck XP generators in the entire game. That is until you have 10 development points and can unlock the advanced water pumping station. What's special about that is that it gives you 1000 XP, which will help us get to level 10 relatively quickly. The only wrinkle with this object is that you can only place one at a time, so we'll have to place it and delete it rapidly. So let's get to level 10 and hopefully we don't take too much time off the clock. Okay, finally level 10, we can get rid of this and finally start building. That was six minutes of our time gone. I'm gonna start running this. We've got $8 million now, which is really nice. What I think we're gonna do is just send a road straight back here. This will be the only two lane road that we actually build. And I'm gonna have one right here as well. Everything else is gonna be alleyways. The main reason for that is they will be half the size and we are gonna want all the space that we can get. Now, I'm gonna go 100% high density and medium density, I guess. So we'll have to see how that turns out. I'm gonna, let's see, right here, we'll try to keep this nice and organized by only snapping to Existing geometry, the grid in 90s. And now, I think we'll go with a grid that is six deep because we are doing high density. So I know that I've seen some people take on a one tile challenge and they'll go with these four by blocks and try to play with the zoning. I don't wanna do any of that. That sounds miserable. So we are going to try this instead. We'll see, I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but all we can do is try, right? And then I want one way in and out of the roundabout and then through here, I think I'll try to take this maybe 15 back. That should be flexible enough. And we're likely gonna have to break up our grid quite a bit anyway, but we'll get a start at it. And we are now almost 10 minutes in with no buildings, which is probably really foolish, but we're gonna keep going for it because I think having a good start is gonna matter as much as anything else. Okay, now it's finally time to start building things. For power, I'm thinking that we're gonna go with power. I'm gonna try to boost, bump that out here as far as possible. And then because we're going high density, I am going to immediately upgrade this thing and we'll go for everything. 
And then for water, I think we're just gonna have a pumping station. This is gonna be way more capacity than we need, but I'm not overly concerned. And I am gonna place a wastewater treatment plant specifically because I want this to be pretty. <laughs> so otherwise, this is not a good choice. Let's start piling in the zoning. And I think that we're gonna go up and down. This street right here will be kind of our main drag. And then I wanna have some residential along here, some offices. Maybe along the back side. Well, actually, we'll, we'll do offices right here. And I think we'll do some mixed use along Aspen Street. And then we need to start thinking about services. We're going to get this thing cranked to level three as well. You're probably going to be surprised about what I'm going to do. But I want to get all the way up to a college. And my thought process there is we can't have towers without education. I'm going to upgrade this for the sake of jobs, <laughs> which, again, Probably not the most obvious choice. And then for the high school, let's break up a couple more blocks. And now I've got to unlock the college. We're going to need this. I think the other ones are going to be too big. The university, technical university, medical university, unless we're going to have just a city of colleges, <laughs> which, you know, as cool as that might sound, I don't think it's the right choice for us. Oh my goodness. Everything's just a little bit off. Okay. Well, gritting this out was clearly not the right choice. <laughs> and while we're at it, now we'll do fire. And I wonder, we have these smaller blocks, fits perfectly right there. Police, this needs a larger block. So right here. And then for transportation, I think we're gonna add a taxi depot. I really, I really think transportation services are going to be important here. And then let's upgrade all of these. So we're going to put the dispatch center and the electric vehicle upgrade there. We'll upgrade our fire department. We'll upgrade our police department. We will upgrade our the, the high school. I want to add the library so it improves our graduation chances. And for the college, I'm going to up. Well, no, we, we can't. We've got I've got to, I've got to pump the brakes. All right. Now, healthcare. So we'll place a clinic and I'm going to add on the ambulance depot right away. So again, that improves our coverage and then we need death care think we're going to want to, oh, not that. We want to unlock, <laughs> I want to unlock the crematorium because again, space. And we could rely on out, the outside world to provide this for us, but I just, I think it's the wrong choice. Oh, that fits like a glove. You can go to the elementary school and see the crematorium. It's perfect. <laughs> now, I also think that we need communications right up front. So I'm going to add the internet and I'll try to centrally locate that. And then we're going to take a look at what our citizens are saying to make sure that we have everything that they are going to need. I don't want to miss anything and have our growth stop because of that. So it'd be like right here in one of these awkward blocks and then all of our upgrades here as well. So for entertainment, we could put a park in. Otherwise, we have some of these landmarks and I wonder if any are small enough to fit. The Grand Hotel is a potential winner. The other one that could work is a botanical garden. So this is 100 outdoor recreation. This is 75 indoor. Truthfully, both would be helpful. This is slightly smaller. We'll put it right there. That's going to juice us. It's going to be it's going to be a huge, huge win for us. So lots of high density residential demand right now. So I'm just going to start to really spam some of these in. And then where it doesn't fill in, I'll downzone it to medium. And then we probably should have at least a couple of our low rent housing units as well. I'm curious. It seems like the medium or the uh, mixed use density or the mixed use zoning is doing really well. I'm going to just kind of fill this whole area in for just a moment and we'll take it down as we as we need to. I'm disappointed that we aren't seeing much in terms of our offices. And I'm wondering if that's just the education pipeline being behind. Oh, I think I know what it is. Look at all of this parking. So the parking could be the next issue, <laughs> which might sound crazy, but hear me out. People are going to want parking. So I'm going to unlock advanced road services so I can take the parking off the streets, parking areas, underground parking, and the automated building. We're going all the way for it. We're going to put this one near our downtown area. I mean, it's all the downtown area. We'll get rid of Bedford Lane. It fits like a glove. That is perfect. And now our commercial demand is through the roof. And it's just, it, even though we're filling this in here, it still wants more. So I'll just keep, I'll just keep feeding the beast. Now I'm wondering, you're starting to see a little bit of traffic in some of these areas. It's all going into this parking ramp. That is wild. If you want to park here, it's going to cost you. We've got a ton of taxis. They're all dispatched. Let's even add some more. 
And then in terms of other city services, I know communications actually really matters. I wonder if adding a post office would be beneficial for us. I'm gonna give it a go. Now, one of the things I'm supposed to be doing is making sure that the city is beautiful. So while I'm thinking about it early on, we are going to spam some trees. So I'm going to take this brush, or the strength all the way up oak trees everywhere. They're beautiful. That's why we're adding them everywhere. Okay, so we've got all of the trees. I'm noticing we're actually starting to see a lot of congestion coming into town. So I'm gonna try to beat back traffic by having some one ways. So I think maybe right here, if we could convert this. And it's good with that. I wonder if going this way, we'll have three lanes going in and one lane going out. Seems fair to me. Can we add trees? We can't do anything to these streets, but we can remove the traffic signals to get traffic moving even faster. <laughs> and I'm wondering, is there anything I can do to fix this? I'm gonna bump this over and get rid of this street right here. And hopefully that will allow me to add one more lane, bro. And I took out some buildings for that. That was not my goal. Oh, we got the iron press building. So this gives you 1% attractiveness citywide and four happiness. We are absolutely gonna place this. And I think we'll put it right next to the high school. And maybe, because we're thinking of beauty, we'll do something like this. And then more mixed use all up and down here. Beautiful, that is beauty. <laughs> so this is actually, it's fairly centrally located, so it should help out everywhere. This tile, is 600 meters by 600 meters. So reasonably that should be solving all of our issues everywhere. And I'm gonna throw in some medium density back there. We'll see how it does. Over here, I'm gonna go straight for the commercial. I feel like it's gonna fail, but it keeps asking for it. And I don't wanna give it the industrial that it wants. And I am curious, we've got this right here. Maybe we should give it some of its upgrades and adjust the taxes in a moment. Okay, we're handling all of the mail. And I, I'm guessing one of the issues that we're gonna have, we don't have any highly educated people here. So I wanna subsidize them and reasonably the well-educated as well, get them all in the community because we don't have universities to attract them. All we have is, oh, we're out of power. We're out of power. Shoot, maybe right. Oh, oh, this is a terrible spot for it. I can't get it anywhere else though. Okay, guys, this is not ideal. This is, this, this, this is not good but it's what we have to do. So this is going to be really bad for noise near here. So maybe we wanna make sure we have no residential. And it seems to me like this, the time to spam medium density and mixed use is now. And then we'll respond to some of this commercial stuff along the way as well. I think I'm gonna save this. We're gonna make a, a small park area, but at least we've got every square inch zone now. We've got potential. And I wonder if actually adding things like a dog park could help us. So why don't we do that? We'll add a dog park uh, right over here. And the small playgrounds are really tiny. We can basically sneak those in anywhere. So on the edges in these little two by twos, we'll add a couple of those here. And then I wonder if we can fit something nicer like this in the center, simply for aesthetics. No, we can't. <laughs> so that's, that's not gonna go down. We could get this small park in though. Okay, you might believe that that was a total waste of my time. And to a certain extent, you are correct. But here's the thing. Right now, we're kind of in a waiting pattern, waiting for some of our demand to rebound and waiting for our education system to spring back to life. Also, I think we need more parking. So we're gonna need to wait. We're gonna need to do that as well. So let's go ahead. Now it's this, I believe this underground parking building, this, I don't know how many parking stalls this actually has. We're gonna place one of these, if we can, it's so big. That's even bigger. <laughs> so, so this will be our east side parking garage. This will be our west side parking garage. We'll take out that home for some underground parking. 200 park vehicles there. And this one is 160. So this one's actually bigger and worse. The only thing, it says an upgrade. Ooh, a car wash. Okay, well, I'll bite. <laughs> and then we'll just restore our zoning back there. Now, my big question with these, maybe I can, yeah, we, we're making as much money as we can there as much as we can there and as much as we can here. We should probably look at some city policies. That could help us. So 
city promotion. This one will increase the attractiveness, bringing more tourists, high speed highways, no speed limits. Heck yeah. Taxi fare all the way up. We're going to make some money and let's see. We are bleeding cash. This is not good. And it wants more commercial and it's not complaining that we don't have enough customers yet. So I guess we'll do it. And it's funny, as soon as I say that, right there, there it is. <laughs> oh, look at that gigantic residential building. And look at this, now we are just going through the roof on our population, we've got traffic issues. This is, we're actually in a, in a, in a fairly okay spot. Uh, I am gonna get rid of, we've got one spot in the entire city with street parking. No, thank you. No street parking, we don't do that. I'm wondering, we, we have nothing growing in over here. Oh, it's all high density. I'm gonna throw it. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm just about to change it and something starts growing in. So I need to be a little more patient, I think. But we will add some more offices because we have basically none in this entire city right now. And it seems, it seems like we should be able to grow an office at this point. In fact, I want them along the coast because I think that they'll look cool here. So we're gonna go for it. I, I, I'm still, I'm kind of baffled as to why we're not seeing any offices. Lack of high skill labor. I am gonna just, we're gonna subsidize people moving in here for a while and see if that does a trick and offices as well. I really want offices. I think that's gonna juice our populace. That did the trick. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I wonder how long we could get by with no taxes. And boom, look at that demand. If you just pay the offices, they will certainly move into the city. <laughs> that makes me think. I wonder if we could go deeper right here. If only, oh yeah. Now we're getting the height. Now we're getting the height. I think that there's more that we could do though. So we'll just put a skyscraper right underneath this or right in front of it. And that'll do the trick for us. Now we've got a little under 18 minutes left. I think what we gotta do is find little spots like this where we could have some opportunities and just try to drive some roads behind and see if we can fit in better uses. Can't believe that that worked. <laughs> we just around the crematorium, back to the elementary school, we added a whole bunch of office towers. Oh, and we're losing stuff like this. Why did that abandon? Small homes. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> Hopefully that comes back though. I think we need that. In the meantime, we're starting to see some medium density demand pop up. And I'm wondering if that could simply be met by mixed use housing. No. <laughs> But the reason why I want the housing over here so much is we're having all of these not enough customer complaints and that is simply not having enough people in this area. Oh, and this is interesting. Now we're starting to see some complaints about ground pollution. I don't know that there's anything I can do to fix this. Advanced filtering, that's another building. Yeah, oh shoot, that is not good. I don't know, there's, oh that's residential. So there is a way for us to fix this. I hate doing this, but I think we'll get rid of those and we'll add in office towers. The next place I could see that we could potentially squeeze in a bit more would be right along the water right here. So I'm gonna try to snap to the side of the building here. And we'll do something like that. Oh boy, this is really uh, a dangerous spot to add housing, <laughs> but we're gonna go for it. It's not gonna be the most beautiful. Oh, that is the problem. Okay. I can't, I won't, I won't, I paused it for a moment, which is absolutely foolish. <laughs> We're not doing that. But what I do want to do is bump this up. So just a, a, a little bit of pre-grading. I'm going to try to go high density. It's not going to take it. It's not going to be happy, but medium, it should take. And now I've actually graded this out and I bet you I could get even more and I'm a fool. So we're going to go for it. We're going to do the exact same thing. Oh, no, we can't because we can do offices by this. We're going to have to move our water plant, but I think we've got to make use of every last square inch available to us. So there we go. If it's going to let me get away with that, I'm going to take it because it's just that much more zoning. And we'll run a path back here through the for, for the pedestrians because we're out of parking. So this is, this is what you get. And honestly, it's probably better for you anyway. 
And I think for all the buildings that are complaining right now, I'm just gonna start replacing them. And we will go with office in all of these. Okay, now I'm gonna go for some of these smaller blocks and see if I can increase the density so that I'm, I, I feel like I'm picking on commercial, but I, there's just a lot of it. It seems like it wants more all the time and it's not helpful. <laughs> Let me see if I can find any of our mid-rise zoning and see if we can increase the density at all. We've got a whole bunch of mixed use over here. I wanna just, I'm gonna try with one. We'll get rid of one of them and see. We've got three minutes, 25 seconds. If we can get that to fill in, that'll be a lot of residents. We're gonna do the exact same thing over here. We got two minutes. We can get something to come in. Okay, one minute 30, please fill in, please fill in. I shouldn't have gotten rid of the mix these. Although 2,600, we're not gonna get to 3,000 like I was hoping, but boy, that's a, that's a skyline <laughs> for such a small little city. And final minute, this isn't gonna fill in, so I'm just gonna go for some offices because I wanna see something in here. And that, yeah, that, we had to fill that in. And now I'm gonna try to just, oh, we've got a spot right there as well. More offices, and now I'm gonna make sure that we, we're, we're looking as good as we can. Oh, looking slick there. Couple more spots. I got 30 seconds. I bet you if I replace this, we don't end up with buildings in time, but we'll try it for it anyway. Oh, and look at that. Our medium density is finally rebounding. Shoot. Five, four, three, two, one, and we stop. 2,644 people live in our little one tile area. So a lot of cheese to get here, honestly. I think it looks pretty good. I'm pretty, pretty pleased with how it's turned out. Lots of mix of, of lots of mixing of uses, lots of parking, lots of really big buildings, lots of, uh, well, the traffic's actually gone now. Lots of, uh, I think that what surprises me the most is what you can fit in one tile in terms of city services. And you have to have them. If you don't have them, your city won't grow. So I'm really pleased with the way that this has turned out. Now, once again, if you want to participate in this, there will be a link in the video description with a save. Double click on the batch file. It will move the save for Smallville into your saves directory and you can give this a go as well. One hour, let me know in the comments, did you beat my score? And I wanna thank you so much for watching this video, a little bit different than normal, but I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And I really can't wait to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for joining me today. Take care and bye-bye.